These are stingrays, yeah? These yep. are fly. You're going to have blue in it. Where's the blue going to go? Years ago, we decided that we needed to get the families involved and we needed them to see what the boys were doing. So we started up an exhibition at the end of the year. We try and develop what we call the five C's. So the first one, obviously, being in the secondary school position is we card for credits. That's why we're here. We're here to get academic credits to help us pass through level one, two, and three NCA. The second C we say is card for cousins, which is for the whānau. Um, you find family really, really love it that they've got a, what they call a carver in the family now. And um, they talk with their boys about it and the knowledge that, as I said, a lot of the families don't have about whakaero. When Sean brought his first piece of work home, the first thing I said to him, uh, A, who, who did you buy it off? And uh, who did it? Because it was so, so um, outstanding. When he told the meaning of the whakaero, what it meant, it brought tears to my eyes. And what about the early being the, the special weapon that it is? I think I might just surround it more. Having nothing on it makes it look stronger. The other thing you can do is you can add the whakarabe, because the whakarabe shows the mixing of the bloodlines. Mm -hmm. That'll give it even more mana. Because we always arms open, it allows parents to come in. But what the parents are seeing from the boys, it's no, actually spurred on the fathers to go and take uh, whakaero at Whare Wānanga. It'll take a prominent place in our whare nui. Yeah. It really has shown that our tūpuna are talking through him, and through his hands he's carving representations that will be time markers from this day forth. Many years ago, we had a problem with truancy on a Friday, and this was a Gisborne problem. My wife came to me one day and she said, I really feel that I want to feed these boys. And so I said, OK, I've got an idea. We'll do it, and we'll do it on a Friday. We have to prepare the bread and the drinks as, as a group. We sit together, we karakia, uh, we talk about it, and it creates that whole whareanui marae style learning. Mana ki tia iho e ne kai oranga mo mātou ko iu karai tō ki tō mātou āriki. Āmene. Thank you, sir. Kai te koe mani. That's a good platform, yeah. boy. Put some meat on your bones, boy. The truancy rate went from 50% attendance to 98% attendance. Kia ora ra, we got seconds on mint, seconds on bread, much as you like. The next one is, is to carve for culture. You now find them doing kapahaka, learning te reo Māori, going back and being a part of the marae. So when these guys go into a whareanui and they just spend their time looking around the walls, then they start talking about the different things they know. Then the old people will come over and start to inter interact and it starts this whole ball of, of just this awesomeness of te ao Māori happening together. The fourth one we say carve for cash and that allows you to continue to carve. And so the fifth one is to carve for a career. I'm going to plan on buying my own chisels and carrying on this. Even I'll probably send my son to Gisborne Boys so he can learn as well, learn how to carve. And hopefully oh, Mr Cullian's still around here, or if not, I'll, I might have to come in, try to teach the boys, but yeah. <laughs> what they learn here, they take out and they do in other places. We have good conversation, we talk about what we've learned, we talk about where we're going, but then we go out and we mirror that experience out in the community, back with our families, back with our parents, with our younger ones, with our mates on the rugby field. And we become good men, good adults, one day good fathers. <laughs>